today we're going to show you how I like to play Forever Dam. I feel like I can normally get it on pretty darn quick. Um, so first things first, um, punch your holes. Come to zoom in closer. I like to do the biggest holes possible. Um, it makes putting it on so much easier. And so, and you still get a tight connection to the tooth. First things I like to do is put it on the frame. So I stretch it tight there, and then I'm going to come down here, stretch it tight this way, and let it bow in the center. That way it has enough space to actually reach back and not be so tight that it's popping out. Next thing. I have a clamp that I already tried on the patient to make sure that it fits. I'm just gonna put this prop in your mouth. And then I just place it all at once. Oh, looks like it's open. Okay, so now that's on. Get this floss out of her way. Now with it also with the frame, it makes it easier to put in between the teeth. Okay, from here, I like to, you have the, fr the rubber dam over these wings. I just take my fingers that are dry and just pop them, pop, pop. So now, Let's grab our floss. And we like to invert the dam. How I like to do it is with some floss. So I need to go down the contacts anyways, and I put it down each side of the tooth. And you'll see that by doing that, it actually inverts the dam if you push it down into the sulcus of the tooth. Now I did a couple extra teeth since I want you guys to be able to see it easier. Normally you don't have to go quite this far. Um, I also, if I don't need a wedge it or a piece, something to put in between the last tooth, I don't put it. If it's not, does, not popping out, then I just leave it like that. I think the importance is being able to do it efficient and with a good quality. Okay, the next thing I like to do is our suction is cut off the tip of it. And then I just grab it with it, give it a and bend it like that. Now I have two suction, one for later. Put this on and hook it around our clamp. I'll have you lift up your arm and put this underneath it. And we're ready to rock and roll. That's it. Um, hopefully it can help you do it better for yourself. Normally it takes me 30 seconds to a minute for 95% of my patients. So uh, hopefully that helps. Okay, so I want to show two more ways that you can place rubber dam on um, with wingless clamps. So first one is to simply place the clamp on, grab your dam, stretch it over, and then uh, put in the contacts and set it all up. So that's one option. The second option is to take our rubber dam off the frame. And then we're going to 
um, place it on kind of without the frame. The reason this is beneficial is that sometimes when you're working the most distal tooth, the ramus will get in the way and hit right there. And you just simply can't stretch it behind that. So what we're gonna do is take a rubber dam, put the arch through, reflect that. Now we have this placed on the tooth and then you can just reflect it down. Now this point, I normally like to have my frame on because it just makes it a lot easier. Now I can position it on the teeth. So that's the second method with a wingless clamp. Um, just for the sake of showing you how quick the first method I showed in the last video, um, I'll do that method as well. So I will typically set this up before the patient comes in um, or while they're getting anesthetized, while you're waiting for them to get numb. So I will take the clamp and it's as simple as just placing it on. Dry fingers, pop it over, pop, and then we will maneuver these in the contacts. Take our floss, floss it down into the sulcus. Remember, that's a big key to invert your dam. And then let's adjust this so it looks pretty. So, good to go. Um, I'm passionate about showing people how to do it quickly because I feel like if you are looking for ways to place a rubber dam instead of ways not to, situations not to place it, then you're more likely to place it. And using a rubber dam, it reflects the tissues, it reflects the cheeks, it creates a clear operating field um, in which you're gonna produce higher quality work. So getting good at placing it quickly, I feel like is important so that you're using it as frequently as you possibly can. So I hope these ways help and um, good luck.